What's up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Let me ask you, do you miss me when I only upload one vlog a week? Do you? Do, do you like me? I think you guys like me. Uh, we have to go to the dermatologist and you remember a while back I was having a really big breakout on my back. Well, I want to give you an update and it's kind of gotten- Oh shit! I am shredded. Damn! Ugh. It's gotten a lot better and it was either because of the medicine or because Taylor stopped using this laundry detergent that she switched to that might have been a reaction. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, it, it ain't like 100%, but it's like significantly better, right? Tell me it's better. Tell me it's better. Tell me it's better. You know, I'm not gonna lie, every time I go into any doctor, even though this is a dermatologist, I'm literally just worried they're gonna be like, oh, what, what, what is that little tiny bump on your skin? And you're dying. Yep, oh, no, oh, no, there's two of them. And you're double dying. <laughs> Wish me luck. All right, good news, we are not dying. She said it should get better. We are uh, gonna use the antibiotic uh, oral for another couple months. She like lowered the dosage and also we're gonna keep using the um, topical ointment twice a day and it is what it is. I don't know, maybe I'm starting puberty, that's why I'm breaking out. Maybe I'll start growing a beard, hey, hey! Also, I asked her about these little, like, rash things I get on my arm and my legs. I've, I've gotten them, like, my entire life, and I've always thought they were ringworm, but it turns out it's, it's a form of eczema called numular eczema. And she said it's nothing to worry about, basically. But, um, yeah, uh, if you have this, then that's what it is. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, guys, so before we head to the office, I need to handle a little something. I need to protect this home where Taylor and Dude live. I am the man of the house. I must protect. Um, there is a hornet's nest, like right up in that corner in this archway way up, way up there. And I have this spray thing that does 22 feet. Well, guess what? It don't reach! So I need to get up there and spray this damn hornet's nest. And uh, I, I don't, th I've, I've weighed the risk to reward and, and the reward is no hornets. The risk is potentially falling down the roof a little bit and maybe falling, you know, 10 feet to the ground maybe rolling and or breaking my wrist or foot or dying. I don't know. Uh, I think we can do it. Oh man, it's a little steeper than I thought. I'm not close enough! Oh, shit! Oh! Okay. Oh, man. Ugh. Oh, it's really hot! Ow! Oh, ow, my hands burn! Woo! We freaking did it, man! I bet when you're—I bet when I was up there, y'all were probably like, "Max, leave that to, to the professionals." <laughs> Professional what? Professional angled walk people? Like, no! God, we we, we can do anything we set our mind to. <laughs> Look at dude. Hey, man, I protected you. I protected you. So, uh, I didn't plan, stay here dude, read some books. Uh, I didn't plan on showing any warehouse stuff today, but there's been a new option on the table and it is this giant ass building behind me. And one cool thing about this is imagine if a sour strip sign was on the roof right there. Look at the highway right there. Can you imagine everyone going, what the hell is the sour strip? I need it inside of me. That's what she, no. You're an adult, Max, stop making inappropriate references. But this is a brand new building that we would have to add air conditioning to. 
and the bay door is open. I'm gonna see if I can like peek in and show you guys, but this is actually over the size of what we wanted. It is like 70,000 square feet. We were looking at like 60. <laughs> when in doubt, go bigger. <laughs> That's what she, no. Look at this. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know, it looks nice. It's expensive, but it looks nice. Hey, dude. Hey, man, hello. Hello. I don't know, there's, we have, we have like three to, three to four different options we're looking at at the moment. There's a lot of pros and a lot of cons of each. Go over there, read some books over there. No, what are you doing? Go over there, go over there. <laughs> there's a lot of pros, a lot of cons. We are running out of time. We have to make a decision and it's, uh, I don't know. Sour strips, dude. Mona, what's up? What's up, Max? Aren't you gonna miss me just screaming, Mona? Yeah. Um, something very important is happening right now. Well, I, I don't know why I'm saying that. Guys, Mona leaves on Monday. With the video, when this video goes up, the next day, Mona leaves for Bali for a couple weeks. And this literally, potentially, could be the last time that you see her on my channel for a very long time. Because when you come back, you can immediately make your decision and leave, and I don't know why. Possibly. You don't seem too upset about it. It's, I told you about this months ago. I know, but I'm sad. Yeah, I'm sad, but I, I still don't know. Like, I still don't know. I'm not saying bye yet. Yet. Is it wrong of me to secretly hope that Bali isn't as exciting and cool as you want it to be so that I can selfishly hope that you'll change your mind and stay with dude in these companies. Is that selfish? Max, yes, but. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I'm, I'm always gonna be here if you need me. Yeah, but you'll be 20 hours behind or ahead or something. Max, regardless, I'm leaving Texas. Regardless, I'm leaving Texas. So even if you, even if you hate Bali, you're- Even if I hate Bali, I'm not staying in Texas. <laughs> And when, when's your birthday? What day? 26. 26, I knew that. Um, you turn how old? <laughs> hit, hit him with the number, Mona. 25. No. <laughs> 30. Woo! We are getting old as shit. Mm -hmm. Oh my, and look at Felix. Oh my God, hey, little do you guys know, on the next video, I, we get to watch Felix for two weeks while she's in Bali and she's setting up all the arrangements. So then when she moves to Bali, um, then Felix can go back with him, but you, you're gonna be my little buddy at the house. I'm gonna pull up all the carpet so you don't pee on them, but it's gonna be a great time. Oh my God. Mona? Yes? As this could be the last clip, what do you want to say to the people? I'm not saying it's the last, last clip, but it could be. You're leaving for like two and a half, two weeks, it three weeks. That makes me sad. Um, it's been a journey with you guys. Thank you for watching me grow with Max, and hopefully you guys still keep up with my life. I don't know. Murph. You know, every time I hit like an achievement in my life, I feel like people leave because they live like I've seen everything. And now with you leaving, now they're like, now Mona's gone. I'm fucking out of this bitch. No, no, you still have Taylor. You guys have a lot of things to do. <sighs> I'm sad. You guys should be sad. If you're not sad, what's wrong with you? I'm. The end of an era. It fucking is. And I hate it. I'm excited for you, but I, I hate it. But I'm excited for you. But I hate, but I. I don't hate it. I just, I just you know, I, I, I don't know how to express my emotions and how I'm feeling. Uh, bye, Mona. What? Read some books. A lot of books. Take care of Felix. <laughs> All right, I have something exciting for you guys. Um, Jojo B and I. Hi. Hey, Batman. I got her flowers. For what? I'm just kidding. Uh, Mona got them. I don't know. Uh, we're filming a podcast episode that comes out tomorrow when you're watching this. Did you get a haircut? That's what she'd know. You look like a 10 year old boy, which is weird because you're on steroids. Anyway, Joe's interviewing me. Yeah. Read one of the questions. No, you're going to hate it. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, so this is the Doobie Sour podcast now. Look at me.
I am the captain. Okay. What? What would I, if I was running for office and I wanted your vote, what is like one thing where like, if you heard it, you're like, I'll go vote for that guy. I don't even know the difference between a Republican and a Democrat, dude. I'm a little disappointed. Like, ape alone, weak, ape mm -hmm. together, strong. I'm cool with that. I'm not very smart. You had the option to get dinner with Joe Biden or Donald Trump. Who are you eating dinner with? Andrew Tate. Well, now we know Max's views on politics. Conforming to the sitting on the fence, dude, all dirt. TikTok got banned in the state of Montana. What are you gonna, you gonna, yeah. you gonna cry? You gonna cry? I, I believe you. I will tell everybody right now, I believe everything Max said. I, I, I have no reason to be like, he's hiding anything. That's true. Yeah. Now time for a little sushi. Whoa! Track hawk a lock. Cert alert. Track hawk. I don't know what the. There's no track hawk saying. But by the way, guys, do you do you like these sunglasses? Do you do you like this bracelet I've been wearing in this video? D check these things out. These are from our friends at Movement, and they're actually sponsoring today's video. Did you know that, Joe? Wow. They have a lot of options for guys and girls that won't break the bank. Like, and you get 15% off and free shipping if you use my discount code. They have a ton of options for guys and girls. I've been rocking with them for a long, long time. Love the company. Discounts right on the screen here. Go check them out. If you need a gift for someone, you need a gift for yourself, treat yourself. Thank you to Movement for sponsoring the video. Batman's here. Let's get some food. All right, per usual, we got our spicy tuna, but I've gotten a little crazy recently and I've branched out to spicy salmon. Not quite as good as spicy tuna, but like pretty, pretty good. By the way, pro tip, you always get, I'm not a, I'm not a wasabi fan. I think the wasabi and the ginger is kind of gross. I, I feel like everyone likes wasabi, except for me, but low sodium soy sauce. Hack to live a better life, I don't know. It's pretty good, dude. Hey, man. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello, hey man. All right, um, by the way, we got a second creamy because we love the first one so much. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Another little casual vlog. Actually, you know, I feel like, I feel like I've been hyping up this creamy so much that I wanna show you the ones that we're gonna make in a little bit because it's so delicious. I'm, I'm influencing this creamy. They're not even, they're not even sponsoring. I'm telling you, go get one of these if you can find it. Ooh, we have over 40 grams of protein, like nine carb and three fat. It's like a frosty. I'm, you guys need to get these things. And we're still mastering, trying to do like the, the re-spin to get the perfect technique, but I don't like you. It is so good. I do not like I you. I know you love me. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Eat more sour strips. Have to say it forward. Don't ever mix your ice cream into my ice cream ever again. Ever forward. Wolf. Why are you so sassy? Because you mix my ice cream.